So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys an absolutely incredible weapon I am seeing nobody talk about. Wow, check this thing out people. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the weapon is called the Envoys Longhorn. Now this is the much, much more powerful version of the Envoys Horn, which drops from the enemy up. As you know, there's like a couple of those Oracle Envoys. I think there's like three versions. There's one kind of small that has this weapon. There's one that's the one up which has this one and there's a much much bigger version so we obviously want to be farming here because you will have to farm for these guys you want to farm the, the medium version of this but before we get into that guys there's also another item which i'll showcase to you guys the actual location for called the envoy crown what this does is people is it raises the potency of bubble based skills so when you're dropping those bubbles guys you're getting even more damage now this weapon, this is a low budget version guys, check it out when that stops shooting. This one is like a, blows a little bubble, Woo! <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, the, the one you want is so that, that, that bigger boy, that bigger boy, because it does so much damage man. So the stats, um, what's required, you need 23 in strength, 11 in dexterity and 18 in faith. And that's more or less it. That is it, people. Um, so, the first farm for it. Uh, actually, the first enemy I've seen you couldn't farm for. I can't farm for it normal because my, my capital is no more. But if your capital is still standing, guys, there's an enemy right near the start. So what you'll see on the screen now is me running from the... Basically, when you first come into the capital. It's from an older video, by the way. Can't do this no more. Um, and I'm coming to... The one you want to be farming, I'll pinpoint him. I actually weren't farming him in the video, but I'll pinpoint him and show you the guy, show you the one you will have to farm. Uh, so I'll come here, guys, kill him. If you don't get a drop, load back into the uh, the grace, rinse, and repeat. Now you want to be using the silver scarab if you've got it. The actual talisman that gives you more uh, discovery, raises that discovery. Also, guys, if you have the I think it's called the silver tear mask use that guys guys in the video description and also if you have any of the silver pickled foul foot these will really help you out because this seems like it's quite a hard drop quite a rare drop now the much much better farm is much much later on so if you have this place guys the Halle tree area there's way more of this enemy you can farm here like Four or five in this area. Uh, I'll showcase the route I take where I'll kill three of them. But there's actually more I missed, to be honest. You, you'll see them. It'd be hard to miss them, to be honest. But yeah, if you've got access to the Halic Tree, which you first guys need to get the Halic Tree Medallion. One half drops from Commander Nile up here. Um, the other half comes from the NPC back down here. Um, but yeah, there's guys on YouTube, guys. You probably best just looking for one if you don't, don't know what I'm talking about. Once you get the Halic Tree Medallion, come to the Grand Lifter World, press right or left on your D-pad, and you'll be able to access this point right here, the hidden path to the Halic Tree. Then, guys, you want to travel north to here, the Odina Town. Another guide in the video description is how you unlock the portal. There's a secret portal here, and you have to actually go into a Ever Jail 
which is glowing on the floor and you have to light four candles spread out around here once you do that you'll be teleported back to our reality then you'll get a at the top of the stairs there will be a portal go through it and you end up here and from here guys firstly i'll show you the location of the mask you want and then i'll show you the location the one i ran uh well i was just running two three or four of them i actually had it up on my first one lucky me while well, i was using the all the uh items that raised my discovery at the time but yeah just follow the i take on screen now guys and then it's as simple as if you don't get it go back to the very first uh grace point a rinse and repeat people rinse and repeat but it's definitely worth your time this thing absolutely destroys enemies so they must have and i'm pretty sure it's gonna get more and more popular over the days to come once people start figuring out how to make it even better but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps actually if you like what you see want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one